Hello everyone. Today I'm working on a SanDisk Cruiser Glide 64 gig USB stick that's not detecting. Not only is it not detecting, but there's no response at all from the USB port when I plug it into a computer. So usually when I get absolute no response, I'm looking for open circuits. So if I plug this in, we'll run some quick tests and we'll make sure that we have voltage coming in. So this is the five volt side. Down here, we do have five volts. It uh, traces across to here, we have five volts and that looks like an inductor, if I'm not wrong, correct me in the comments. Not sure the value, if someone knows, write a message. We have five volts here. And then it comes all the way in, this side of this capacitor and into the power pin of this chip and the five volts is getting in there. So that's all good, the five volt is working, the ground side is working. Uh, let's have a quick look at the capacitors, we'll go on a beep test, we've got a few capacitors, so if that's five volt that won't beep, this should be ground, that beeps. There's ground, so we're looking for any shorted capacitors by checking both sides of the capacitor. One side will be the ground side. And as long as they don't both beep on the for ground, they're okay. So that's all good. This is our ground side and it's working fine. So let's have another look a bit closer to see what's happening. So let's check our data positive and data negative lines. We can see here it goes up, comes around, there's a trace wire that walks all the way into this pin here. Same thing with here, on the opposite side goes around to this pin. So let's see if the data pins of the USB connector are actually reaching our chip. Now if you have a look a bit closer under the two pins in the middle, you can see that the PCB trace wires are actually lifted and torn off the PCB. So that must be our open circuit. Let's see if we can repair it. We'll put some flux in there. Now we're going to try and get in there with the soldering iron. First I'll try and just heat it up. Maybe the solder that's already on there will stick. Yeah, it did. So I didn't have to add solder. So all I have to do is melt the solder that's already on the joint. Yep, and it um, pulls a nice connection. So we'll have a look under the microscope. And you can see the solder has reconnected the wires to the pins. Starting my test software and it's immediately detected it as a SanDisk Cruiser Glide USB device. So that's it, it's working now. Let's check and see if we have the data. It's detected. There's not much data on it, but it's all there and I can see everything's working. So let's copy it off. So that was a quick and easy video on how to recover data from a SanDisk USB with an open circuit on the data line. I hope to see you guys in the next video. See you soon.